Hello, this is Dan Luby from Go Engineer. I just wanted to talk a little bit about adding uh, our own standard components to the toolbox library. One of the biggest things I see when adding toolbox is just being able to bring in uh, the different configurations properties. So I'm going to start here uh, by opening up a component I've already created. Um, it's just a real basic washer. I have some text here that's calling out some properties that I've created for each of my configurations. So I have five configurations. Um, each configuration, if we look here at configuration A, I just have a couple property names here and then some values that are represented. And if we look through here, it's basically part numbers one through four and uh, the random property is just B through D. So I have two properties for each configuration and I want those to be showing uh, in my toolbox component once I add those. So if we look through here, I also have this sketch that's calling out those specific properties as this thing grows in size. So this is just an example. So first thing I'm going to do is come up here into my whole wizard toolbox options and I'm going to configure. So usually takes a second. So I have my box here. I want to customize my hardware. So I'm going to click on that. And then I really just need to specify a location for my part. So I came in here to nuts and I've actually created a folder called my components. Uh, if you want, you can just right click here and say new folder and then you're able to add whatever it is that you wanted to add. Um, under my new components here, I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a file. And I have this located on my desktop. This is my toolbox component uh, that I'm calling washer. So my toolbox component is in here and if I click on that I have a couple standard properties, description, file name. I can enable those uh, under color, if I want, I can choose a color for my for my parts. Uh, and then under custom properties, here is where I'm going to list what I have uh, listed in the different configuration properties. So here I'm going to have random property. And I'm going to leave all of these at default and just say OK. And then I'll add another one. And this one will be part number. I'll say OK. Then I'm just going to turn these on uh, for this option, or excuse me, for this part that I have selected. Once all of this is done, I'm going to hit save. Toolbox saves my changes. I can cancel out here, and I'm going to close the part file. And just to demonstrate, I'm going to open up a new assembly. And then I'm going to search through Toolbox. If you need to, you can come up here and you can add it in. Uh, if you haven't done so already. And I'm going to kind of come down find my components. And now every time I drag and drop this part in here, it's going to give me a configuration name. I can come through here and choose A, B, C, or D. And you've seen the different you know, changes in dimension of my part as well as those properties change, and you can see those listed over here. If I drop this in my assembly, I'm able to add additional components, but I really just want to look at this one's, com or excuse me, this one component's properties. If I come in here, I see all of my configurations listed, and everything is located in my toolbox components. I hope this has helped. Thanks for watching.